Good day everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Bros of DK. As you can see, I am in severe discomfort because it's still very cold here in the state of Illinois where we are today. We crossed the border back from Canada and we're now exploring over here. But the cold over here feels much colder than in Canada. It's only minus 10 degrees Celsius today, but wow. But anyway. Today we are documenting a very interesting abandoned house that has been left behind for almost 15 years right now. This place used to be of the family Schmidt and is a true time capsule with everything left behind in there. Probably one of the best ones we have seen so far in the United States. Oh my God. Oh, look. The inside is completely frozen up. We were in here yesterday to check the place out, but now it seems to be completely frozen up. Oh, so then he got it open the door. So now we are able to go inside of the place. No, we didn't break anything. Like no, it's no, all no. okay. Welcome inside of the house. Let's film this beauty. Let's make an epic documentary. This journey will take us deep into the state of Illinois, where we discovered the forgotten house of the family Schmidt. Around six decades ago, Glenn and Dorothy emigrated from their home country Germany to the United States, where they started a completely different life as traditional honey farmers. Glenn used to be the director of a large bank in Berlin, and this new world was far away from where he originally was. It remains entirely unclear to us why they made this life-changing decision. Since they moved from Germany, they lived all their lives in this house, accompanied by their loving daughter Glenda. Unfortunately, she chose to not follow in their footsteps and pursue a career in nursing. This proved helpful later in life because Glenn passed away early and Dorothy resided in a bad health for the last years of her life. The hospital was far away from their house, but luckily Glenda was able to take care of her and made her last years more enjoyable. After her mother passed away, Glenda continued living inside the house. She never had a husband, nor children, and passed away in relative loneliness in the year 2005, leaving the house abandoned forever. Since the passing of Glenda, the house has remained abandoned and acts as a time capsule into their past lives, with everything still remaining inside its forgotten walls. Today we will take you on a tour around what has been left behind and we will tell you their life's story. Oh, so let's start off this documentary. I'm really excited to document this place. But first off, Danny, come over here. Have a look at this. In the entrance hall, the coats of the aunts, the mother and Glenda herself are still left behind. Whenever you come to an abandoned house and you walk inside and you see that the coats are still there, you know that you're dealing with a time capsule. Oh my God, this one is even completely molded up, as you can see. Oh. And then we enter into the first room of the household, one of the most important rooms of the house, where the bellies are filled, where love is made in the form of food where Glenda and our mother Dorothy used to make beautiful meals, maybe even their father as well, Glenn, but I don't know. Oh, have a look at the first artifact over here. We have a fridge completely filled with magnets and stuff like that, but over here you can see a picture of the both of them. This is Glenda 
and this is Dorothy, her mother. It says over here, Peck Myers, 3rd, 2nd, 1997. I'm born in 1997, so this picture is as old as me. This has the same age as this man <laughs> standing here. Isn't that just insane? Crazy. Like to think about it, that we are entering these places and documenting stuff that's literally decades old. Okay. I love when the front of the fridge is completely covered with magnets of memories. And these are definitely memories. We got some hot shapes over here. We got some stuff from the hospital from, uh, from Glenda back in our time. Nurses can really take the pressure, it says over here. Some handwritten notes probably from when I went to the grocery store. Two cups of sugar, one cup of water. Oh no, this is a recipe. Oh, okay. That's amazing, right? To see yeah. something like that. Also, pretty intrigued by this cabinet above here. It's completely carved out to fit over the fridge, as you can see. <laughs> you Sorry, can excuse me, excuse You're me. bumping into everything. <laughs> this small table, yeah. And everything is still left in this cabinet. From the Hursley's cocoa powder. Morton, idiast salt. Oh, this is very moist. I'm gonna, no, put, the, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna put this back. Mm, oh <laughs> God. You wanna do it? I don't, but yeah. Oh, 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 okay. Let me show, let me show quickly. It's full, it's full of things. Even pills. Oh my God, just close it. Yeah. <coughs> okay. <coughs> The regret. Why do I keep doing this? <laughs> why, lastly? Absolutely. Why do you keep doing this? I just do it. Uh, my brother always loves to open the fridges and look in them. And it's, it has become sort of a habit to always open the fridge in an abandoned place. <laughs> but I should stop this habit, I think. Yeah. I saw this plate when I walked from downstairs over here. It's pretty interesting. It looks like some sort of a carnival or parade or something like that. Circus World Museum, oh, Barbado, Wisconsin. That's lovely, that's actually far away from here, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a neighboring state, but it's still far away because this state is enormous. Here's the cooktop where they would make their lovely meals on. A very typical American cooktop, as you can see. Even the pots and pans are still left on top of it. The last towel. Like this fridge is, uh, this, this uh, cooktop is so different from what we have in Europe, right? Oh yeah, absolutely right. It looks so we, strange. We to normally us. don't have those things there. No, it's, it's, it's all here. underneath here, exactly. And then the oven part is down below. Still some residue of the last meal that, sh that they cooked. I always find that very intriguing to see. Oh, and then all their things are also still on the countertop. A very typical the American blender. blender yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then the thermos that they took to their job to making the honey. American flag representing the country, of course. Oh, have a look at this. Yeah, a very classical Coca-Cola can. This has been it's, out of face for a long time. Yeah, it's not old, but it's, it's, it's old. It's like 10, 10, 15 years. Yeah, something like that. It's frozen as well. But it's, uh, <laughs> it's unopened for all those years. Yeah. The last expiration date is on there. No, doesn't seem like it. Okay, wonderful. I hate housework. <laughs> 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 Me too. Me too, Glenda, I get you, I get you. Wow, lovely. Everything is also still in here. I'll quickly show you as well. And then there are no last dishes left behind except for these pots and pans that are standing over here. Oh. Oh. That's an inter interesting cabinet, and there's a bar of sto soap, soap still in here. Okay, Whoa. not gonna open up everything, but I just <laughs> want to show you the main things of this household. Oh, have a look at this, the nanny. This is her card from when she was still a nurse, and when she went to the hospital, she would hang this on her belt. Wow. Galenda Schmidt, Department Nursing. Position, air, and it says over there. And somebody in this household also was pretty sick. 
at the end of their lives. All the pills and everything are still left here. The toothbrush, Interplak, <laughs> sounds like a Dutch name, Interplak, it's also still standing here. Got a lovely oil lamp, still some oil in there. What's this? <laughs> I think this... It's beautiful but creepy. and creepy at the same time. Yeah, this gives me a very creepy slash beautiful feeling. I love how it still rotates yeah, and the mechanism yeah. still functions. Let's play this in the background. Oh my God. <laughs> Schloss Nurschweinstein. These were German people and they were very proud of their heritage. Schloss Nierschwanstein, bro, you gotta go there once in your life. It's oh, one of yeah. the most beautiful Just for castles. the photo, I wanna go. Here, it's January crazy. 2005, was the last date that somebody still lived in this place. So got some things up here, some magazines and stuff like that. Wow. Oh, I thought it was stopped playing, but no, it keeps <laughs> going. Keeps playing. And with this background music, have a look at this room that we're entering into right now. It looks like, out of a picture, I would say, the plants have fallen from the table when the table cracked down. They have fallen onto the floor. A plate has fallen over there. Jeez, that's insane. This is typical natural decay. The whole table just falling apart over the decades that this place is abandoned. Have a look at this wonderful chandelier. Could you even call this, this is just a lamp, I would say. No, it's a chandelier, it's hanging from the ceiling, yeah, come on. Yeah, okay, okay, sorry. But it has a reservoir down here, where the oil would be in here, back in the time. But as you can see... Oh, no, No, sorry. it's not broken, the, those things, uh, okay. you can put it out. It's like uh, earrings. I fixed it, okay. Yeah. It was converted into an electric lamp afterwards, as you can see. But at first it used to be an oil lamp. Fascinating piece. Wow. I, I absolutely adore it. Behind it, we have this couch where they would probably sit after a full dinner, <sighs> have a full stomach, and then relax over here with a coffee. Everything is completely falling apart from this yeah. couch. The Jesus wall Christ. is completely decayed. Almost no wallpaper is left. Everything is peeling off. This is barely holding on. You can see it's holding up the wallpaper. The wallpaper, yeah. I think these people also were religious. Yeah. Most definitely. Yeah, there's another Jesus portrait just oh, right there. And that seems like a hand-painted one. Yeah. Oh, that's it actually does. very lovely. I've never seen a depiction of Jesus in this way. He also is depicted as a very muscular and beautiful man in this depiction over here. Very interesting. Oh, you, can, you can see the temperature thing, but it's corn and there's even still some corn in here. You see that? Behind yeah. here, the window? Some corn in there, probably for a good harvest or something like that. Ah, a lot, of, we, a lot of Christmas, Christmas things stuff. as well. We saw that the place is abandoned in January, so they might have not taken their Christmas oh, decoration yeah, down. Oh, January. Jeez. That's why I was looking at the door, yeah. sorry. But there's Christmas stuff everywhere. It was literally Christmas time when Glenda passed away. And the house got abandoned forever. Lovely hat over here. This is definitely a farming hat that they used to wear when they were working on the fields, taming the bees. They would wear this hat. <laughs> and then you think Glenn would smoke his pipe on the field while he was taming the bees. Working with the bees. There's a lot of paperwork also still left from them. I'm not gonna go through this all because this is all very personal. Oh, and this was their heater. It's a heater? Yeah, I think so. Or a cleaner. I don't know. Oh, no, it's, sorry, it's a humidifier. Oh, okay. Is this a answering machine? I think so, right? Yeah, it's... Oh, it's AT&T. Yeah, it's an answering machine. 
It's something that we have not <laughs> yeah. seen in a very long time. Wow. That's you can oh, see wow. there are recorders. You can record these. Probably these are full with voices of people that called them back in the time. Yeah. And there's still voicemails on there. That's crazy. I would love to listen to those, but to take one of those with us would be still. Yeah. No, 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 no. A lot of angels and religious artifacts on top of here. And then we have the back, probably from Galenda when she went to work. She would carry this one with her. There are even still some pictures in here. Oh, that, that one is gone. Nighttime. Yeah, picture. Polaroids don't last. They don't last years forever. and years. They. Oh yeah. Some Polaroids do, but this is a very vague picture of two people, as you can see. Hmm. Okay. Oh, lo look at this. Oh, be careful! Be careful. It's completely, bro completely broken up picture of this young lady, as you can see. Wow, that's so long, and you have to be very careful with that. Oh, all the knitting supplies are also still in here. Isn't that just fascinating? I think her mother loved to sew. Yeah? Why because do you think so? For the looks of it, I'm not sure, but I saw a pedal down there and this looks like a, a yeah. sewing table. Yeah, you can even open it up. There used to be a sewing machine in here. And here I'm literally displacing yeah. everything, but there used to be a sewing machine in here. Okay, then in the corner of the room here, they had that television, one of the first. Yeah, it sort of looks like a flat screen television. No, it's not a flat screen no, television. No, it's not. It's very <laughs> it old. looks like it, but yeah, it's not. Looks like it. Panasonic one, their VHS tapes and everything is still left in here, as you can see. Everything is still present and even a scent, <laughs> an American oh, scent. Oh yeah, there's, there's one a dime. lot of on the floor. One dime. Oh, and on top of here we have some artifacts, for example this globe, this Christmas globe, but the water in there is not clear anymore yeah, as you can it's see, yellow. <laughs> there's snowing in there right now. Oh god, <laughs> this also makes noise. No. <laughs> can I stop this? No, 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 don't. Okay. Yeah, it needs to finish. Love this car that we have in here. There's also some sort of a recorder, as you can see. Oh, VHS, yeah. Also, v oh yeah, VHS tape recorder. Yeah. Wow, in the form of a car or a transforming that's, that's car. That's really cool. Very interesting, right? I've never seen that. And have a look above here. There's an aerial picture of the grounds of the house. In the back of the time, they flew around with helicopters that took pictures of houses. And then I went to the door and tried to sell them. To the owners of the house. Very wonderful. We have one more corner and this lovely room left. And that's this one over here. A very memorable corner with a lot of pictures of these people left. You can immediately see a picture of Glenda appearing over here. The lovely lady that took care of her aunt and our mother. Oh, was that? Uh, oh. Well, I don't know who is the child, but I just saw the, the this, ants. Yeah, this, the three ants that left here, right? Yeah. Okay, so Glenda took... Oh, oh this they're one, the same. That's when they were younger. Have a look at this. This is this woman, most definitely. That's her. And this is most likely her. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So they're probably the three sisters. Katie, May 19, 18. 18. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm called Leonard's daughters. Wow, Estella, Levera. It's very badly written, but this is literally more than a hundred years old, this picture that we're holding in our hand right now. And this is the wow. picture from when they were older. Wow. So there were three. Wow. That's amazing. And now we have. A picture of a man. Yeah, this is just a, a joke photo for yeah, sure. Yeah, it's probably a costume for Christmas, uh, for carnival or something like that. Up here, I was looking at this boy. He looks a little bit mentally disabled, I would say. Yeah, Don't think there's so. more photos more... here also. Oh, I think it's a girl. Look I'm at that. not sure. Yeah. They are 
Master Street is together with another girl. That's so interesting, bro. And down here, we can see a lot and a lot of books left behind. I just had a quick glance, and these were all medical books. AIDS and HIV, cardio, everything is still in here. I see Glenda Schmidt, these were all her books. And she was a nurse and she studied from all of these books. Phys physiatrics, nursing. Now here we have a book that states street drugs, identification, packaging, use and influence. So everything about street drugs, which is very common in the United States. It's written down in this booklet. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> this looks so a little bit like Gwenda. Okay. It's amazing. Wow. That one is I love it. She put it here with all her books together. Oh, I was just looking at this plaque over here on the wall. It's talking all about grandmothers. Grandmothers have a special place, one of the highest acclaimed, it's true. All about grandmothers. And when we are talking about grandmothers, like I can still see them. We were just looking at the pictures, but can still see them all sitting here, enjoying themselves. Glenda was such a nice person for taking care of them, like giving them the last years of their lives. It's so wonderful. Wow, Danny, come further. We're gonna sh go to show the people more of this household. No, 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 don't, don't turn <laughs> no, I'll leave it, I'll leave it, don't sorry. Turn it. Oh, they had a very small bathroom to this side, as you can see completely stacked up with stuff right now but this was the bathroom where they all used to shower and groom themselves and then we come into another room and I think when Glenda got older she also unfortunately passed away but when, when she got older she moved her bed downstairs and she slept over here this is a very common thing when people get older in life we see this all the time in abandoned places they move their bed downstairs because they cannot reach the upper floors of the house anymore. A lovely bed, a lovely piece. Everything's still intact and left here. Here she used to sleep on this still made bed. This was her pillow, a lovely bed frame around it. You can see the design in there is also beautiful. It's just an iron bed, but it's made like it's painted in a wood color. Yeah. Vintage television, as you can see. RCA, never heard of that brand. Me neither. Lovely piece. Okay, the shoes are even still left here. And everything is still in there. Wow. Oh, let's put it back nicely. And over here, we got some nursing puppets, as you can see, this porcelain. Oh, it's again a depiction of her <laughs> in her work field. Oh, we're safe as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's also necessary in the household. And even everything is left in here. You can see the calculator is also still left here. This is a machine unlike I have ever seen before. Texas Instruments, probably a very dated machine. It's just a normal calculator. Wow, oh, telephone and everything left behind. Even some syringes are left here. Ooh here religious depiction of Maria I think there's nothing on the back with what what kind of camera are these made they're Polaroid, Polaroid, cameras, Polaroid right? yeah original Polaroid wow. so they are one of a kind yeah there's just yeah that's insane oh a lot of nursing stuff is in here still see a lot of plasters and everything and this was probably her notebook where she wrote down everything about her patients. <laughs> it's always difficult to close yeah. these back up because over time they expand and then they are way more difficult to close up. You got a oh, cabinet over here. Whoa. These are swinging oh, doors. Swing doors. Oh, nightgowns. Oh. Sorry, how do you call this? Nightgown. Nightgown. Because I've... it's a dress and it's to wear at night, so ah. it's a, night, a nightgown. I've never heard of that word before. Really? Yeah, nightgown. But these were indeed then all her nightgowns, and uh, that's what she used to wear. All still left here. Oh, there's even a globe up here. 
It's Biggie Bank. Biggie Bank Globe. I love it. Probably for her travels that she wanted to do around the world. She put all her money in here. I hope she made those travels in her lifetime. Ah, oh, and then we have her vanity over here with all the dolls. The teddy bear still left on there from that time period. A lot of pills as well. We already saw a lot of pills throughout yeah. the house. Glenda might unfortunately have been sick at the end of her lifetime. <sighs> What's this? This is a lamp or something like that in the form of corn. Oh no, it's not a lamp. It's a bottle. Oh no, don't open. Yeah, it's sort of a cram in there. Maybe corn cream. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know if that's a thing, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, and one of her hats is also still hanging here on the vanity. Lovely. And then we enter into one of the last rooms here on the downstairs floors. The living space where the family came together with it and spent their most time talking about the stuff. And it's actually a very, very neat living space, I must say. Starting off with the piano that we have here in the corner. Wellington, the cable company in Chicago. <coughs> this is a Chicago made piano, as you can see. Very regional. Who's this a picture of? That's most definitely Glenda, right? I, I'm not sure because it's it's old. Yeah, she was very young still so, in this picture. Yeah, so I'm not sure because back in the day, mm. when she was uh, younger. That was just black and white photo, so I don't know. Oh yeah, of course. If that's a painting or something, yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Very creepy clown doll, still lying here on the piano. Yeah, there's <laughs> a lot of creepy well, stuff. Yeah, let me house. say it's not creepy, but it's just weird. Like these these dolls up here. Yeah, they're sort of singing in the shore. Yeah. And a choir. Excuse me, I keep pronouncing it wrong. <laughs> Holiday Valentine's traditions, candles to the left here. Definitely those depictions of religion coming back throughout the house. What a lovely place. And Christmas stuff also yeah, coming back. Yeah, of course. Back. This is all Christmas stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we told you before. Just everything is from the Christmas. So, no, no. <laughs> it's a rat, right? Oh, there's a mouse. Like, oh. Yeah. There's a mouse lying up there. Wow. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I just All got their shocked. documents <laughs> are still in here from staff member meetings. It's all from the hospital. She probably had a very important position in the hospital if she kept all these documents at home. Yeah. And, and I also think she, she worked uh, for someone, like for houses, people. Yeah. Going Maybe house she was self-employed. over here is a recording it's a, device yeah recording that's so interesting even a faxing machine over here she so she most definitely had her own company in nursing and she went from home to home like Danny said 2001 we got another calendar over here and this is also one from German landscapes this is a castle in Germany I've not visited it yet but it's a fantastic fantastic castle Look over here. These were most likely her parents that are depicted on there. And even the child down here. Wow. That's lovely. But, you see the seams over here? Yeah. <laughs> this opens up. What, what do you think it's going to reveal? Uh, by the looks of the whole cabinet, a swing machine? No. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh yes! Oh my god! It's a complete record player. It still plays. Yeah, I, I pushed this button over here. Then it, everything in this house makes sounds. <laughs> what? What? It's playing Happy Birthday. What? Where does the sound come from? I have no clue. I just pushed a random button and then started making that Wait, sound. Wait, this? No, these, these are the speakers. It's the speakers. Yeah, it doesn't open up. That's crazy, man. I love it. Oh my god, it doesn't stop. It... I, this, this, is, house this is getting is, creepy. This house is insane. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Where is this sound coming from? I... 
It's the, it's inside. It's somewhere. Oh, okay. The batteries are still working after all this time. This is just a birthday thing. Okay. But the batteries are still working after 17 years of abandonment. Wow. Okay. And now we have a small little piano or no, uh, an organ. organ here standing in the corner of the room. That, of course, is not going to function. <laughs> Lovely. What do we have over here? Ah, oh, this is all from the hospital where she worked at. You can see all the documents are still left behind here. Jeez. And then over here we have the sitting area where they would all sit together in the evening and just enjoy themselves. There's no television in this room, so they most definitely listen to some music and had some conversations in here yeah. instead of what I we think, do nowadays. I think, to be honest, I think this was more like a relaxing art, uh, enjoying room. Yeah. Because you have the piano, you have yeah, the yeah, music. Yeah, yeah. The other room on the other side had a TV, so yeah. maybe more of a... Exactly, exactly. Dining room, yeah. Donald, he was 13 years old and he drew this lovely painting for somebody. And this is probably because they were farmers, they drew like a pig over here and everything. We got also some more pictures of the family left here. That's Glenda. Definitely. And then we have a fire truck down here and these might have been her parents that we have up there. And a full book written here, a full notebook. I'm not sure what it's actually talking about. I'm very bad at reading handwriting. Yeah, it's cursive. Yeah. Lovely, bro. What a place. And also you can see it's completely oh. deteriorating already after that. This is a mirror. Yeah, that's a mirror, exactly. It's like wow. folded over the wallpaper, yeah. completely folded over the mirror. And even the wall is unfortunately cracking up over there. It's falling apart. Time is taking its toll on this place and it's not gonna last for much longer, unfortunately. There's always the sad part about these houses that they, in some cases or in most cases, especially in the United States, cannot be restored anymore. So the only yeah, solution or a way that it's gonna go is yeah, demolition. demolition. But probably all the memory is still inside. That's why we give these places the last oath to their lives and we want to document them before they are gone forever then that's why i love this first the basement danny or first the upper floors let's let's uh, let's just do the basement first. yeah Sorry. yeah <laughs> i make the decisions yeah <laughs> <laughs> Places in the United States have basements, but in the north it's more common, and over in this house it's also more common. But in the south of the United States, we have not found a single basement yet. You can go first, Danny. Go into there. Slowly but surely, we're gonna make our way into the basement of this place. Wow, well, also have a look before you go in there at this yeah. completely I was just shipping looking at off it. paint here on the wall. Let's go slowly into this basement. Have a turn around. Have a look at this. There are some artifacts up here. You can see these were all used for baking and there are some pots and pans here. And even up here, we have a tea kettle left behind. Wow. Let's see it. It's on there. Cleveland. Wow. We have not been to Cleveland yet. Okay, and welcome into that very tiny basement over here. I can see that this is also an ancient relic. The items that are in here are old. Definitely. I think this was sort of a washing machine that we see even here in front of us. I'm gonna uh, disassemble this. A washing or drying machine, yeah. Exactly, yeah. And on top of there, 
There are samples of wallpaper, as you can see. I think it's wallpaper. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's most definitely wallpaper. And back in the time, people loved to change out their wallpaper just to give the house a new feeling and a new look. Nowadays, people mostly paint their houses. They do it every few years, but back then, it would be wallpaper. And it took a very long time to put it on the walls yeah. and a lot of precision. Wow. Do you know what this was for? For the honey, I think. Yeah, look. Yeah. Can I just... Of course you can. What do we have over here? Maison. And this is from their honey company. Maybe there's even the stamp. Wow. It's lovely. They probably all cleaned them out. Put them up here for the next batch. That never happened. There's even... Even underneath here. Yeah, the little ones. They're small ones. Perfect muscle. Ball. This was all for the honey company. Back in the time when Glenn was still alive. And maybe over here they bottled all of them. These were probably all used for that. Kettles to store the honey in. Fridges and freezers, freezers to keep everything fresh. And back here we have something else. Big bottles probably for bigger batches, but these more like look like uh, wine bottles or something like that, or vinegar it says on there. Yeah, it's like apple cider, cider vinegar. Vinegar, yeah, vinegar. Do you need that to make honey? I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't Is don't that an this ingredient? Oh. I don't know. Ingredient from the process? I'm, I'm not, it's, I'm not <coughs> sure. That's a wine jug. That's definitely, a, probably still a cork on there, but it's probably frozen. Yeah, most likely. <coughs> yeah, oh. be careful. The air in here is very bad. Yeah. Okay, let's go back upstairs. Yes, and then from the basement, we can make our way to the last part of this house, but also a very, intriguing and interesting part as well. Bro, have a look how this stairway is constructed. It's hidden in the kitchen area over here, and then it opens up to reveal a hallway that goes upstairs. Ooh. Thank you. There you go. Wow. Long stairway to the top floor, wallpaper, also already peeling off in this section of the household. Everything is falling apart. And then we come into a very long hallway, actually. Wow. Yeah, and the Love carpet. It. Exactly. Love it. The doorway is to either side of them. Jesus Christ. Oh, I already see wallpaper. Oh my God. Everything is falling apart, unfortunately. This is sort of a wardrobe, I would say. Yeah. Walking closet. All the clothes of hers are still in here. This, oh, can I go into there, please? Be careful with the floor, you never know. Yeah, maybe it's like a bed or something. <laughs> a lot of pillows in here as well, as you can see. Oh, yeah. Ah, and I can also see some calendars hanging here. One is from 1958. Wow, a pirate ship. <laughs> <laughs> the calculations and everything on there. I love the one behind here as well. 1952 what the Bible says. And this is actually also from Christmas time, this one. Yeah. Okay, this place is back nicely. But then here, we have all their clothing nicely hanged up over here. And these are all female clothes, as you can see. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I don't find yeah. any male clothes. Nothing of a man left behind in here. Glenn must have passed away a long time ago. Wow. I saw a nice dress over here as well, yeah. Have a look at this. This sort of looks like a wedding dress, I would say. Still perfectly in shape. Nice pink sort of wedding dress. Still in its packaging left over here. Put this back neatly. I'm gonna zip this up because I want this to be preserved. Okay, what do we have in here? Oh my God. It's closed. It's completely filled to the brim with stuff. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave that. 
that's not very interesting. There is also an attic to this side, as you can see, but I'm go we're gonna go up there later. But let's now first go into the first bedroom of this place. That's this one over here. I can already see from the corner of my eye that it's very beautiful. Oh, it has a vanity with two rocking chairs to the side here. I love all the flowers that are throughout the house. Yeah. All it's plastic really flowers, unfortunately. Yeah. But they look magnificent after 17 years of abandonment. If I'm, uh, this is sort of a vanity slash drawer combination. It's not really. It's, it's just a, a night, no, not a nightstand, but a, a bedroom stand. Yeah. Oh my God. <sighs> Even more music machines. I'm just gonna wind it up. Let's let it just play like background music. Yeah, background <laughs> music, exactly. I wish you a truly joyous Christmas and a happy new year. Christmas card. Yeah. There's Christmas. Christmas stuff. everywhere. Yeah, Christmas crowns and all. Everything in here is related to Christmas. I love the rocking chairs yeah. that are in this room. This is something Those. so typical from the United States. Like during our explorations in Europe, we have you have found one or something yeah, like that? Yeah, in Portugal it's common, yeah. But in, in other countries, France, Italy, nowhere you see rocking chairs. But okay. they are they are lovely and they are two of the same. I truly love They them. are lovely. I agree with you. Even oh, the clothing. Boy. I think these are the nursing clothing. As you can see. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Also left here. Oh. I'm going to move this rocking chair out of the way for a second to show you. The nursing clothing that's behind here. So maybe when Glenda was still younger, she would have slept in this room. Yeah, most definitely the clothes that she used for her work. As you can see. Yeah. That's fascinating to see. It's amazing. So this was her room. We can safely assume. Lovely bed over here as well. I love how it's still made and everything. The blue bed sheet on top of there. And then we have another teddy bear at the end here. Love you. Wow, look at all those newspapers that we have over there. Crazy stack of newspapers. Rock ages. This is also a Christian thing above the bed. I wonder why they put these corn leaves behind here. It's also religious. Uh, Is I it don't... for a good harvest of maybe something like no, that? No, no, no. It's a time of the year. It's in Easter time, I think. Mm. They, I don't know exactly how to explain it in English, but yes, it's a yeah. religious thing also. Okay. Oh, we also have like a costume hanging here, as you can see. Even the pants down here. It's a skirt? That's a skirt. I've never seen a costume skirt before. It's not a costume, it's uh, just a suit. It's a suit. But, but oh, yeah. Sorry, I say costume, but I have to say suit. Yeah, yeah, suit. But this is from Glenda, and maybe for our business meetings or something like that. She would wear this suit, as you can see. That's lovely. Okay, let's go to the next rooms. I also really adore the wallpaper that we have in the household. Isn't it the same one that we saw in the basement? This, uh, this might have been the same wallpaper. Not sure. Okay. Then we come into the next room. Up to you, bro. You can go first. Oh. Wow. Look at that. This is just lovely. This looks like a wedding dress. Yeah. Still hanging here. And this is definitely from the aunts and the mother that lived in here. You can see everything in here. Our female clothing. This was definitely a house of women that all lived together here. Wow. Lovely dress hanging from the wall. This is so charming, bro. Really is. Oh, it is. Very difficult to hang back on there. <laughs> yes, I have it. And then we have this bed over here, also still made. Everything is still in place from that time. 
and up above there we have sort of a diploma from a public school. It is, it is. Can you see from for wood what? Uh, Francis, Francis. Levan. And I see it's from 1911 down there. Where? Oh yeah. Okay, so this is. That's crazy. Really old. That's really old. Absolutely. Wow. And then to this side, yet another vanity standing here with light stands and everything still on there. An unfinished scarf or something like somebody was knitting something yeah, here. Somebody starts something. We have this American tourister baggage tag from Glenda Smith left here. Red pepper burns, some booklets, some letters, and everything is here still. Oh, and this was her purse. It's a weird looking purse, like how it opens yeah. from the front. Would it be from a music instrument or something? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, look at this one down here. These speakers, they look yeah. they have the same design as, as the downstairs. As downstairs, exactly. Yeah. As the cabinet we saw with the record yeah. player. But that don't open up, unfortunately. No, no, no. It's, it's a speaker. It's a speaker. <laughs> it's a speaker. Yeah, it's a speaker. <gasps> what does this represent? It looks like the nose of a pickup here. It's it clearly, it's like... Yeah. Abstract, it's I would say. <laughs> very abstract. But I saw, I saw the other one. Is there another one in there? there it, yeah. Wow. What's this? It's upside down. <laughs> so it looks like a pillar to me. Yeah. Okay, then we have. Wow. There's yeah. more in here. This. Oh. Oh, my. oh, it's full of stuff. It's all a farmer. You can see this is a corn. corn. A shoe. shoe. And then we have a farmer. And this might have been a sketchbook of some sort. Maybe Glenda was very artistic. Oh. Oh. Someone was studying. Uh, how to draw. Wow, they were learning wow. how to draw. That's lovely. Okay, I'll put this back nicely when we're done filming. Now we have a painting hanging here on the wall. I always love how the wallpaper just peels over the things that are inside of the house. <laughs> Typical vacuum. American vacuum cleaner. Or Orac. Orac. Never heard of the brand before. <laughs> Me neither. X XXL Extended Life. <laughs> <laughs> the Americans in their advertising, they're insane, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then, Danny, yeah. we have a sewing machine standing here. A very, very lovely one. Would it still function, you think? No, 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 it's rusted. It's completely rusted up. The belt is still on there, as you can see. And everything is still in place from the sewing machine. All the tools and everything are still left behind. Here, here, yeah. Wow. Yeah. But is the sewing machine still in place? That's the question. This is how you would open it up. There it comes. What brand do we have here? I'm not sure what's on there. But look at this. All the needles are still in there. She put them all over here on this cloth. Over time, when she needed one, she would just take it out. And this is made in Cleveland, USA. You can see on there. And there's an um, a prato, it says on there. A prato. It still functions. Be careful, my. Yeah. yeah, I will be very careful with it. Gonna nicely put it back. Oh, the sound. And then we have the next room over here. And I believe this used to be a child's bedroom, as you can see. A very, very low bed. Like this would not be for a normal adult. But the reason why I think that is because there are a lot of child's things inside oh. of this room. You can see a chalkboard standing there against yeah. the wall. And the child would play with that back in the day. Maybe Glenda, when she was younger, she used to sleep in this room. Maybe. Yeah, most definitely, actually. 
and all her toys are also still left here for when she was younger. Christmas toys as well. Yeah. Santa's workshop, it says <laughs> on there. Oh, we have another elf over here, a teddy bear elf. That's lovely. The fake flowers and everything still left here. Wow, so much paperwork on top of this drawer. Who made this? This looks very old. Yeah. This might have been something from the Glenda paper. when she was young. Yeah, the paper is very old. Let's put it back very carefully. Oh, wow. What's this over here? German bitter over events in certain areas. <gasps> honey. Oh, it's the... Glenn Schmidt Honey. This, these are the labels from their own company. As you can see. Wow, wait, wait, wow. <laughs> this would be on the bottles that we saw downstairs. Downstairs, yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, wow. Packed and guaranteed by Glenn M. Schmidt. And there are literally hundreds of these labels in here <laughs> that's insane Operation right fine. that's a crazy find another christmas thing over here definitely abandoned around christmas time it always gets me sad when houses are abandoned around christmas time a lot of nails in here that's lovely and again all those fake flowers all around angelica religious artifact This one is still open up. Oh, very tough, very tough. Oh, to I open. hate that. Yeah. Happy birthday again. Why is this in here? Shouldn't this just be in the kitchen or something? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put this back. A lot of weird, weird, strange things in here. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah, like for example, the honey the labels. Why are they in here? Yeah, and the nails also. Well, that's one. Let's have one more look at the bed over here. Oh, there's also caramel on the wall there. Oh, I didn't show that. Oh, that's lovely. And this one's from 1947. You can see down there. Even her shoes are still here. Sorry, what's the word for this in English? Slippers, slipper. I think. Nighttime slippers. <laughs> Lovely pink one as well. Yeah. <laughs> There's even some artifacts underneath the bed here that shouldn't lay down there. Let's put them up here. Okay. Some angels. <laughs> Come over, Danny. Let's film this last bedroom that we have here upstairs. And these bedrooms that we just all showed you, the aunts and the mother and every Dorothy and the aunts and Glenda all used to sleep here together upstairs. That's why there are also are still four still made bedrooms for the three aunts and the mother and Glenda. And here we have another lovely calendar. And this one is actually from 1946. We get keeping that more and more older, older and older over time. Also a still made bed with a pink sheet on top of there. Christmas decoration at the front of it. What's this cloth over here? This looks like it is hand sewn together. Like all these pieces are hand sewn together in some way. See that? Yeah. It's lovely. I don't know. Oh, a little stand over here. Sort of a jewelry box that we have over here, or a knitting box. Yeah. Cloth in there. I see a lot of uh, nail, not, not nails, uh, needles. Needles in there, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I love this stand. I think this is from the state of Illinois. Yeah, Chicago, we can see there at the top. This is the full representation of the state of Illinois. Wow, it's, it's a big state. <laughs> it's enormous, bro. Literally, you won't believe. This is bigger than our company, our, our companies combined. <laughs> yeah, our companies combined. 1946, and this one is even older than the other one. Wow. Totally. I love that these old calendars were just, uh, you just rip a paper. 
Is this year by year or month by month? Month by month. January 1946. That's the last day that somebody probably slept in these rooms. <laughs> Also a very interesting part, we're going to the attic, the place where history is stored, where people store everything that they don't need in their house anymore, but probably still held memorable, valuable values today. An American attic, this is one of the first actually. In Europe, attics are always very, very big. Oh yeah, this yeah, this is so small. small. Yeah, look at Leslie. <laughs> yeah. I have to crouch in here. The first thing that catches my attention is this lovely oil lamp that we have lying on the floor over here. Oh, what a piece! This house is definitely very very old. It has seen multiple changes throughout the years. There's so much interesting stuff up here. Look at this one. <laughs> An American mailbox lying here on the floor. There's still something in there. It says that it's for school. <laughs> what? I think this is to put on your counter and to where you put the receipts on. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. What is this device? Yeah, what is that machine? I think it's just a vacuum cleaner. See, there used to be Oh, there's no. Oh, okay, there's no here. bag. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, there's just no bag. Oh, so much stuff up here. Excuse me. What's this? I, I don't no know. Clue. It's a, it's a oh, projector. For my, for my time. I'm not. I'm not sure. No, it's not a projector. Okay, no. It's, I'm not sure. It's all before my time. So. And then we have this section over here, a few kettles up there. I think this used to be a cabinet or a fridge or something like that. Oh, Danny. What? Oh, shoes. The shoes. shoes hanging here. Wow. This one's even missing the end part. These were the shoes of Glenda or her mother. Still hanging here. <laughs> Michael Lo Michael Lobeer. I don't know this brand. Never seen it before. Me neither. Probably an American brand. Wow. I was expecting to find something from the honey production up here. But we have not yeah, seen nothing yet. This is I think an outside lantern or something. No, it's not. It's something that I used on the farm, but I'm not sure. I, I think don't it's, know what it is. It's just a honey production, most definitely. But there's so much things up here. Wow. Old furniture and stuff. Ah, no, that's just a box. <laughs> it's just a box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, we can go through this forever, but I think we covered the entire house and documented everything that's in here. And like I said on the downstairs floor, I'm very happy that we gave this place its last oats before it probably gets demolished or forgotten about forever. I want to thank the family Schmidt for their lives. I want to thank Glenda for taking care of their aunts and Dorothy, our mother. And this was just a fascinating place to document. Danny, thank you. For filming and helping Welcome. me out. And thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, please like the video, subscribe down there if you're new to the channel. And there's also a link in the description for Patreon. There you can support the channel and help us go around this beautiful world and document these amazing places. Bye bye. I love you all very much. And I'll see you next week in another epic adventure.